on a winter's evening in the seaside resort of Blackpool, smoke was billowing down a back alley into the night sky. At first, it was thought that it was a mannequin that was on fire. Once the flames were out, they discovered it was actually the body of a young woman. When the police arrived, they immediately realised they were dealing with a murder so horrific, the only way to identify the victim's body would be through DNA. In the lively seaside town of Blackpool, England, known for its bustling piers and vibrant amusement parks, a sinister shadow fell over the joyful atmosphere in January 2013. Sasha Marsden, a young and beautiful student, just 16 years old, became the center of a tragic story that gripped the heart of this close-knit community. Sasha, with her whole life ahead of her, was full of dreams and aspirations, embodying the spirit of youthful optimism. Sasha Marsden was a beacon of hope and potential. And she was always there for you and making you laugh when you didn't want to. <laughs> And making you smile when you didn't want to. Like if you were sad and then she'd let you get your problems out and that was it. She'd like, right, change of subjects and she'd just she'd do anything to try and cheer you off. A student at Blackpool in the Fylde College, she was pursuing her passion for childcare, aspiring to shape young minds. Known for her bright personality and kind heart, Sasha touched the lives of many. Her ambition was to make a difference in the world. A dream tragically cut short. Her family, friends and the community remembered her as a loving daughter a loyal friend, and a dedicated student. Sasha's disappearance not only left a void in the lives of those who knew her, but also sent shockwaves through the community, marking the beginning of a heart-wrenching ordeal. On the evening of January 31st, 2013, Sasha Marsden headed outside for an errand, unaware it would be her last. She had planned to meet someone for a job interview, as she deemed it would help her save up more money for her education. The evening was like any other in Blackpool, with the town's vibrant lights casting a familiar glow. But as hours passed and Sasha didn't return home, concerns started to ripple through her family. Initially thinking she might be late, the worry intensified as calls to her phone went unanswered. Her family's unease grew into dread, sparking a desperate search. Sasha's sudden and uncharacteristic disappearance sent a wave of anxiety across her circle of friends and family. The first sign that something was terribly wrong the grim reality dawned the following day. Sasha's body was discovered in an alley, brutally murdered and set on fire in a shocking act of brutal violence. The news of the discovery sent shockwaves through Blackpool, plunging the town into a state of disbelief. The community, usually dynamic with the joyous energy of a tourist haven, was now united in mourning and fear. The police launched a full-scale investigation, combing through evidence and appealing to the public for any information. They found that Sasha's body was repeatedly violated, and her body was stabbed a staggering 58 times. Sasha's family, reeling from the horrific loss, found themselves at the center of a nightmare. The brutality of the crime left the community grappling with a sense of vulnerability and loss of innocence. Totally brutal way to die. As one would expect, the brutality of the crime demanded a swift response from the people. Thankfully, the first breakthrough came immediately, with the discovery of key evidence near the crime scene. CCTV footage provided the police with crucial leads, capturing images of Sasha on the night of her disappearance. This footage, along with forensic evidence gathered from the scene, directed investigators towards a suspect, David Minto, a 22-year-old man who worked at the hotel where Sasha's body was found. David Minto, a relatively unknown figure in the community, soon became the focus of the investigation. Minto had reportedly lured Sasha under the guise of a job interview at the hotel, as the investigation deepened, the police uncovered disturbing details about Minto. As it turns out, he had a history of predatory behavior and had also used the promise of employment to trap his unsuspecting victims in the past. In other words, this was not his first rodeo. The arrest of Minto brought some relief, but also a wave of revulsion as the details of his actions came to light. But they had had uh, sexual contact. He didn't actually, he never went into any detail about what that was. She had left, and he then went upstairs to continue cleaning, and he heard a noise. He came downstairs and discovered Sasha's body. He was charged with Sasha's murder, and the evidence against him was overwhelming. Forensic analysis linked him to the crime, and his actions on the CCTV footage correlated with the timeline of Sasha's last known movements. 
The community, still reeling from the shock, watched as the case against Minto solidified, hoping for justice in the face of such a brutal act. David Minto's trial was a focal point of public attention. The defense's arguments paled in comparison to the mountain of evidence of his heinous act. Ultimately, Minto was convicted of Sasha Marsden's murder, receiving a life sentence with a minimum term of 35 years. The tragic loss of Sasha Marsden left an indelible mark on her family, friends, and the Blackpool community. Her murder, characterized by its brutality and senselessness, highlighted the need for vigilance and stronger measures to protect vulnerable individuals. In her memory, efforts were made to raise awareness about safety and to support victims of similar crimes. Sasha's family became advocates for justice, ensuring that her story would not be forgotten. Her legacy lives on through these efforts, a testament to her life and a call to action against such senseless violence. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts on this chilling story in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily true crime stories.